In this session, we will be building a snake out of a block. See, right now the there is only one block. It is moving on its own. Uh, this is actually a snake with length one. If I put, let's say, five, six blocks, let's say if I put six blocks, then this becomes a snake. So we'll introduce a length parameter in our snake class. And if let's say length is five, then it will look like this. So instead of one block, we have five blocks. So the first thing I'm going to do now is enter my Zen mode. You know, I'm doing a meditation, the snack and apple meditation. So here I will introduce a parameter of length. L-E-N-G-T-H. So self dot length is equal to length. And now I don't have a one X and Y. Because when you have a snake with size five, essentially you have five X and Y. See one X and Y is nothing but the left top coordinate of a block. So if you have five blocks, you should have five X and Y. And how do you do that? Well, in Python, this is easy. You can do something like length, okay? So this will initialize an empty array of size length. If you want to verify it, uh, what I do usually is I go to Python console. So exit this and more. I go to Python console here. And if you do something like, let's say this five. Oh, this is not working. Okay, I need to give an, um, some value. So let's say if I do 67, see, if I do five, it's creating an array of five. If I do three, it will create an array of three elements. So that's exactly what I do. This Python console is a useful feature. You can use it. So now I will just initialize it with size 40. So by the way, I will just create a variable call size is equal to 40 and this size is nothing but the size of a block actually the actual length of the snake is this length and see if you look at my block block dot jpg right this is the image we are using if you do look at the dimension of it it is 40 by 40 so that's why uh i want to put initial position to be let's say 40 40 it could be 80 it could be 120 and then um, i want to just implement my move logic now before i implement my move logic i need to change the draw function because draw function is just drawing one x and y now we have multiple x and y so instead of this i will have a for loop and i will say you know, go till the length and do draw x and y basically. Okay. Now, initially, I initialized uh, my entire array. Let's say if you have a snake length of two. So let's do that. So here, when you create your snake, let's say I have a size to be two. You would ask me, why do you have both the blocks at the same position? Ideally, you should have it at different position. But my move logic will take care of it. It will unwrap my snake, you know, as I move. So how would I change my move logic then? Well, before I do anything, let me just run it just for the sake of it. Oh, yeah, it's not working because when you walk, you are changing this X. And this X is an array now okay so we have to implement this walk function okay how does walk work well let's see so when you have a snake like this okay and let's say if i move it in a right direction i put a right key what's happening is let me mark this line see this is my head right this particular block when i move it to right the block will move to right okay so my block move to right perfect the logic for this 
is what we saw already if you are moving right increase x by some amount moving up increase y by some amount but what do you do with these other blocks well my second block comes at the position of my first block my third block comes at the position of my second block and so on so every block is taking a position of its previous block now writing this logic becomes very easy because here when you are changing a direction of course the logic remains same for the first block which is your head of the snake okay so this remains same but we have more blocks so for those blocks you need to put them at the position of previous block so how do you do that well you have to run a for loop in a reverse direction so you start with the last block so fifth block you put at fourth fourth you put at three and in order to do that you can just do this self dot length minus one okay go all the way till uh, zero in a range by the way it will not consider zero so to, actually you are going till one and minus one is a step size so step size means you are going in a reverse so this for loop is nothing but going in a reverse direction you start with five four three two and so on and the current x position will be your previous blocks position okay and you do the same thing with your y all right oh, let's see ah uh, see now actually it's a snake with two blocks but see the the distance between the blocks is very minimal it's it's like 10 pixel so i need to make it size which is a 40 so that you know the size of block is 40 so you, you want to keep them 40 pixel apart so here size 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 great see i move it up left down my screen now is a little smaller so i want to increase the size here to let's say 1800 and also the just increasing a timer so that it's not moving very fast see so this is how the snake with uh, length 2 looks like if you have let's say snake with length 6 This is how it looks like. See, when I move left, up, down, etc. Now that my snake is kind of ready, I want to now draw apple. So for apple, so the purpose of the game is snake is eating an apple. Apple goes at random position, and as snake eats apple, the length of the snake will increase. If you're not sure about this, I have all the source code in the video description below. So just take the final version of the source code and try to run and play the game so you get an idea. So here, now I need to create an Apple class. So see, in object-oriented programming, whatever objects you have, you create classes for those objects. So we have snake, we have apple. So we created classes for both of it. Now, apple is also an image so if you look at this image this is also 40 by 40 pixel image so i need to load that image first right and we have already seen how you load the image like the same code i just copy pasted here and apple also needs a parent screen here see how you have a parent screen i'm just going to change this we need a parent screen so that apple can be painted on that parent screen okay and uh, what else do we need yeah x and y because apple has a position right and this position will also be in the multiple of 40 so i'm gonna keep it 120 so like 120 by 120 See, if I put it 20, 
then snake and apple will not align it has to be multiple of 40 so just to make it generic you can do something like this also and of course you need a draw function to draw the apple and how does draw work well it will be okay just copy paste this code there is no for loop of course so here instead of solve self dot i'm just saying self dot image and x and y i'm painting here i probably don't need fill here because fill i will do it in a snake draw function okay all right so now i have my apple here now apple i need to initialize in my game class okay how i initialize snake so i will just say this is my apple and the parent screen you need to pass and then you need to say draw now when you are running this event loop see here you are saying self dot snake dot walk so here also you need to draw your apple otherwise what happens is in the walk function you are uh, in a draw function you are clearing the screen so it will clear the apple so that's why we need to do this so see i i see the apple now which is good um okay now one thing i noticed was right now i have two objects if you have like four five ten objects and you have to keep on saying self dot object dot draw so just to modularize my code i will write a method called play in my game class and this method play will have those two methods in the end it's, it's working the same but at least code wise when you read it it's like in your full loop okay in your while loop play and play is doing all the drawing okay so that's all i have for this session in the next session we will move the apple at random location will handle the collision of basically apple being eaten by snake and we will also increase the score so we'll work on the scoring mechanism in the next session all right thank you